Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue to read the psalm. Um, I've been uh, reading Psalm 119, uh, which includes uh, 22 short psalms. So I finished uh, uh, 123, 1 to 8. Uh, I'm going to start to read from 9 uh, and 10 today. I'm going to read it. Tev. Do good to your servant according to your word, O Lord. Teach me knowledge and good judgment, for I believe in your commands. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. You are good, and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. Though the arrogant have smeared me with lies, lies I keep your precepts with all my heart. Their hearts are callous and unfeeling. But I delight in your law. It was good for me to be afflicted, so that I might learn your decrees. The law from your mouth is more precious to me than thousands of pieces of silver and gold. Yod, another uh, psalm. Your hands made me and formed me, gave me understanding to learn your commands. May those who fear you rejoice when they see me. For I have put my hope in your word. I know, O Lord, that your laws are righteous. And in faithfulness you have afflicted me. May your unfailing love be my comfort. According to your promise to your servant, let your compassion come to me that I may live. For your law is my delight. May the arrogant be put to shame for wronging me without cause. But I will med meditate on your precepts. May those who fear you turn to me, those who understand your statutes. May my heart be blameless toward your decrees, that I may not be put to shame. So this is uh, another two small psalms included in Psalm 119, uh, Teth and Yud. Um, so in general, uh, the two of these two uh, piece, uh, two short psalms, similar to the others, very uh, panting, a uh, heart panting for the uh, laws from God, and and the, along with the blessings, I think. Um, so uh, do you do good to your servant according to your word, O Lord. So this is a pray, ask God, um, do good to uh, to the, to your servant, and teach me knowledge. Uh, and good in judgments, for I believe in your commands. So ask uh, for wisdom, uh, for knowledge, uh, beyond the worldly, the worldly uh, money or gold, which is for the knowledge and the wisdom, so that, um, for I believe in your commands, because of the faith, because of the belief. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. Um, so I used to wander uh, around, away from your from your instructions now and back to obey your word. You are good and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. Uh, though the arrogant have smeared me with lies, I keep you percept with all my heart. So this is uh, another part of the real of the Psalms. One of the reasons the arrogance uh, smeared me with lies and I kept your percept with all my heart because you are good and what you do is good. Ask you to teach me your decree so that I can stand firm uh, in front of those arrogant who uh, smeared me with lies. I think this is uh, the smear means, uh, I think, put the mud uh, on the face and to uh, obscure the real, the truth of this person, like slanders or markings. And um, so, uh, so this is about uh, the real part in life and uh, dealing with. This real and this person, the author, came to to the God, after God continued to instruct, uh, with knowledge. Uh, their hearts are callous and unfeeling, but I delight in your law. Those arrogant who smear the uh, face with lies, their their hearts like callous, without sensation. A callous are the the really thick, damaged, the dead dead cells on the skin, without feelings. Uh, so those people are really. 
probably hardly is referring to. Their hearts are callous, and it was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decree. So the the pain or the the unhappiness or suffers or torment, uh, it's uh, is I'm not going to take those as a negative, but on the other hand, turn them into positive. Learn from those afflict that. Uh, um, so that uh, bring me back to your decree. The law you, from your mouth is more precious to me than thousands of pieces of silver and gold. This is uh, the wisdom, the instructions from the God is more than silver and gold. And Yod, your hands made me and formed me, give me understanding to learn your commands. This is the, the same tone, the same uh, thought, uh, because the belief, the God formed me, um, and uh, so ask God to give me understanding to learn the command. May those who fear fear you rejoice when they see me, and I have put my hope in your word. This is a saying that um, I like to choose the group, the, uh, grouping with the right people. And those who fear you rejoice when they see me, happy to see me because share the same faith, same belief, same uh, faith, same belief. Um, and not feel shamed like a uh, astray away from the instructions of God. I know, O oh Lord, that your laws are righteous. In faithfulness, you have afflicted me. So discipline uh, is because of the faith. Because of the faith. Um, uh, may your unfeeling love be my comfort uh, according to your promise to your servant. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. I have been afflicted and uh, so... Please uh, show your mercy, show your love. Do not just keep uh, uh, discipline all the time or suffering all the time. The purpose for the suffering is to, to gain your wisdom, to gain your decrease, and to, uh, to live well uh, under your instructions. Uh, may the arrogant be put to shame for wronging me without cause, but I will meditate on your precepts. So ask uh, God to uh, give me compa uh, give your compassion to me and to those who believe you, and so the arrogant will be put to shame for wronging me without cause. For those who smeared me with the lies, those arrogant will be uh, put to shame, so clean the name. Um, uh, and may those who fear you turn to me, those who understand your statutes. Uh, so those people really uh, used to mock me, uh, thinking that I'm away from your instruction, now come back to me. May my heart be blameless toward your decrees that I may not be put to shame. So this is saying that may um, the author saying may um, the author be blameless in the view, in the sight of God, not the people. People can mocking and smear with lies, but uh, uh, being blameless in front of God, that's the really uh, is the heart the true heart for those believers. So this is about another two short Psalms in uh, Psalm 119. And the tone is similar to the previous. I think probably that's why they put together in this. Uh, it's uh, the pray, uh, pray not for the, the silver or gold, but the, for God, for God compassion, for God instruction, for God decree, and also for the faith so that um, to face those arrogant who slander or who uh, smear the face with the lies. So this is uh, and uh, so in general I see the real and I see the faith and I see the humble heart to pray in front of God. So I'm going to stop here and uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you can uh, read, interpret in your own way. I'll see you next time.